In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change screens in Kivi so you can be on one window and then you shift over to another screen. So let's get right into it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Shore Code. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to code, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell down below so you don't miss any future tutorials. Now today we are going to learn how to use the Kivi Screen Manager, which will be like managing our screens. So we can have one screen, then it will manage it so we can go on to the next screen. And we can also customize the transitions when moving from screen to screen. So I'm just in a Python file here, and you can see we've got three different classes. We have our normal MyApp class, and inside the build method, we're just skipping over it. And we've also got first page and second page, and these both inherit from button, from button, so they're just buttons. Then in the init method, we're calling the init method in the button class. We're setting the text to high. We're also binding an on press event and we're setting it to the method switch. And at the moment, switch doesn't actually do anything, it just skips over. And it's the same thing for second page, it's just inheriting from button, just sets the text to high there, and we've got the same bind method with the switch method. And at the bottom, we just have a variable called myapp, and it's set to an instance of myapp, and then we're doing myapp.run. And the reason why we don't just instantiate myapp and run it is because we'll want to refer to it later, and you'll see later on why this is important. Now, to be able to deal with different screens, we're going to need a screen manager, we're going to need screen, and we're also going to need slide transition. So screen manager is going to be the manager of our screens, and slide transition is going to allow us to customize how the transitions will look when we're moving from one screen to another. And now we'll want to instantiate the screen manager in the in it in the build method. And after that, we're going to set up how we deal with our pages. So the first thing we're doing is we're just instantiating the first page, which is literally just a button. Then we're instantiating a screen and we're setting the name to first. And we need a name so we'll be able to refer to it later and we're also then just adding the button to the screen and then we're adding the screen to the screen manager and now we'll need to do the exact same thing for the second page and finally let's just return the screen manager and now if we run it we can see that we get a button that says hi and nothing happens. And this is because we're never actually telling our screen manager, hey, we want to move on to the next screen. And this is where our switch methods are going to come in up here. We're going to program this so it moves on to the next screen when we press the button. So basically what we're doing here is we're setting the current property of the screen manager equal to second, and I've missed the equals there. And this my app is referring to the my app variable down here. And this is why we can't just write my app dot run because we are because go we're going to refer to it up here with my app. And now let's just do the same thing for the second page. And if we run it now, you can see that we get high and when we press it, it moves on to the next page and it says hi there. And if we press it again, it goes back to high. Hi there. So we're moving between screens now, and as you can see, the transition is always defaulting to left. So let's change that. And by the way, if you are finding this video useful, a like would be appreciated. So basically, what we're doing here is we're setting the transition property of the screen manager, and we're setting it to the slides transition class, which we imported up here and we're setting its property of direction equal to left. And then down here on the second page, we're just doing the same thing, but we're setting the direction to right. Sorry, I've got a typo here. This shouldn't be my app. This should be lowercase my app. So if we run it now, we can see that we get a button that says hi, and when we press it, it moves to the left, and hi there comes on screen. And then when we press hi there, hi there will move to the right, and we come back to hi. And we can keep on going like this for as long as we want to. Now, of course, you can change this from like left to maybe up and right to down. And if we run it now, you can see that it goes up and then it also goes down. Or we could set them both to up 
and then it just keeps on going up. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you'd like to see how to use lambdas in Python, then you can click on this video here. Otherwise, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.